American TV dad at Union Station. Listen carefully. In years past, you may have heard a little music in the night air courtesy of some buskers who usually set up in front of Union Station right here on Front Street. But, but tonight, not a note, and that's not a coincidence. A recent bylaw change means that buskers are no longer allowed to set up camp here. Now, we spoke to one band who used to play here often, and they say this is just another blow to buskers who feel that their craft is being restricted more and more. Their big brass sounds echo through the streets of Toronto regularly. You can find them at different locations in the downtown core, attracting large crowds with their musicianship and their moves. These guys put on a show. So we're coming here to study and our school is right there. So we heard it from the class and we said, OK, on the break, we're going to come and see it. This music is very, very, very nice. But sometimes they draw the wrong kind of attention. This is, uh, I guess, the Toronto Municipal Code for uh, noise. We were served this by the condo, uh, just these condos here across the street from the ROM. We have permits which allow us to play on the street and kind of follow a different set of rules than what the municip Municipal Code outlines. And recently, Big Smoke Brass got a big blow to their busking business. One of the spots that we've often frequented is in front of Union Station of the corner of um, Front and York Street. But now it's not technically the public space city property that it once was. And so buskers that are typically permitted to, to play on city property as we are can no longer perform there. More than 3,000 people move through Union Station daily, making it a lucrative spot for buskers and a key area to grow their exposure. In January, City Council approved a motion to move the property line at Union, meaning where the bend used to set up would no longer be public property. According to the city, it was done to keep pedestrian flow moving quickly. There's just a lot of people walking back and forth, and they don't want that. Um, they don't want the, that congestion anymore. Well, it's something that we could be, you know, frustrated by and angered by, and, and try to do something about. But at the end of the day, it, that just brings us down. You know, all, all I think we want to do is just bring awareness to like how much more difficult it's becoming in the city in order to, to just play on the street. You know, this is this is something we do for a living. Uh, it's unfortunate because I think, I mean, I saw people getting off the tourist bus to stand here and be a part of this scene. So I think what better way to greet people to the city. Getting shut down at Union, which is one of our favorite places to play, it just it's, it's a bummer. But we just got to move on and move forward and, and you know bring awareness to it in hopes that other places don't follow suit and are more willing to kind of embrace the busking culture that's present in the city uh, and help keep it alive. Now, I do want to mention that when we arrived here, there was a drummer who was set up uh, right at the corner of Front and Bay Street there. The city says that all commercial activity at and outside Union Station, including busking, is managed by Osmington. Buskers interested in performing at Union are encouraged to contact them. So it's not ruled out completely. You just have to contact uh, the leasee here.